lots to talk about. Let's get started. As you know, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Everyone excited? <laughs> yeah? Well, I understand your excitement because according to a new poll, Valentine's Day is America's favourite holiday, beating even Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Which is amazing because it isn't a <laughs> holiday. <laughs> I'm telling you, you Americans have got to stop with these made-up <laughs> fake holidays. Where does this end? What's next? We're all going to buy each other gifts for Arbor Day. I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's just let it be a day. Like, I like Valentine's Day. I do. What's not to like? There's candy, there's chocolates, there's that big hole inside of you you try to fill <laughs> with candy and chocolates. Valentine's Day, or, as a lot of couples call it, are you sure you don't want to do something this year, honey? No, I'm totally sure. Oh, OK, then we won't. Why aren't we doing anything? You clearly don't love me, Day. <laughs> you notice how I said other couples and not me and my wife? <laughs> Here's how much Americans love this made-up holiday. According to estimates, this year, Americans are expected to spend an average of $200 per person on Valentine's Day gifts. And they would really appreciate it if you could pass that information on to their partners. <laughs> People plan to spend $200 on gifts this year. Here's how it breaks down. $5 on a gift and the rest on same-day shipping. <laughs> it's today? Oh, my God. <laughs> Now, Valentine's Day is hard for some people, and if you're dreading tomorrow because you recently broke up with someone, don't worry, a zoo in Texas has you covered, right? They've said they will name a cockroach <laughs> after your ex. <laughs> and for a small donation, they will feed it to a zoo animal on <laughs> Valentine's Day. Know. It's just a bit of fun. <laughs> Listen, if your answer to a bad breakup is cockroach sacrifice, <laughs> I'm starting to see why your ex left you in the first place. <laughs> a zoo will write your ex's name on a cockroach and feed it to an animal. Not to be outdone, a nearby aquarium will also make a special dedication if your ex gave you crabs. <laughs> Don't, no, don't clap it. Don't you dare. Stop. No. 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 You're too good for that. We're not. You are. <laughs> and if your true love, uh, if you and your true love are still looking for dinner plans tomorrow night, one restaurant chain has recently become quite the romantic hotspot. This is true. The 24-hour roadside chain Waffle House is now accepting reservations for Valentine's Day. <laughs> And they're even offering a special menu for the occasion. Yeah, you've heard of restaurants having a blue plate special. This is more of a red flag special. <laughs> and this is nice. For an extra $5, you can go behind the Waffle House to select a cockroach to feed to an animal. <laughs> Waffle House is offering a special menu where you can get a romantic Valentine's Day meal for two, including this stack of pancakes that say, girl, you can do better. 